All right, so if you have an old Fitbit, this is the Fitbit Charge HR. You might have heard that there's a class action lawsuit saying that this thing is inaccurate. And uh, I was just checking it against this Fitbit Versa. My own personal experience with the Charge was that I'll be riding until I feel like I'm going to die on my bike. And it barely registers in the cardio zone. Whereas with the, with the Versa, when I do the same ride, it's a lot higher, like 40 beats higher. And the, the interesting thing is, if you look at the resting heartbeat on both of these suckers, you can see they're, they're off by about, what is that, 15 beats? So in the lower heart ranges, it seems like the charge is kind of close, but when you rev up your heart, this thing doesn't read it and it thinks that you're sitting on the couch, whereas this one does a more accurate uh, reading of your heart. So here's a couple of graphs that I shot from my regular workout. So basically same bike ride on different days at the same intensity level. Um, one of them I maxed out at 188 beats per minute. And on the other one, I never got much over 140. So here's the old Fitbit charge numbers. So barely into the cardio zone according to it and never got over 140. And then topped out at 189 beats a minute and an average of 158 on the new Fitbit. So it's a big difference. So if you have one of these old Fitbits and you're trying to do high intensity workouts, you're gonna die. So I would recommend you either upgrade to the Fitbit or switch to an Apple Watch or something that's, that's reliable. I th I've heard that the new Fitbits are now trustworthy, that they've compared them against regular heart monitors and it's pretty close. Now the class action lawsuit was settled for $33 million. So you might be thinking, how can I get a piece of that cheddar? How can I get paid? for my uh, defective Fitbit? The answer is, unless you've had a stroke or something, it's almost impossible to get any money out of the lawsuit, so it's better to not even try. Uh, they, If you, within 30 days of clicking OK on the Fitbit app, from the time you bought this watch, whatever, five years ago or whenever it came out, you sent them a letter on paper or an email telling them that you wanted a piece of the settlement, then you can get a settlement. Otherwise, you have to sue them directly and go to court and pay a lawyer and stuff. And then even then, the, the amount that they would pay you, according to the class, is about $33. So just pitch it into a dumpster. Don't even try.